In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a really simple t-shirt design style that I've seen on Amazon lately. It's this t-shirt design style right here. You can see it's really simple. It has text and rectangles and it's distressed. I'm gonna show you how to do this all in Canva online. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. Thanks so much for joining me on this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a t-shirt design, very simple t-shirt design in Canva. So whether you have Canva Pro or Canva Free, I think you can still do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it with Canva Pro, but you can follow along with Canva Free with some of the other stuff. You may not get the distressed text or distressed rectangles with Canva Free, but you can still do the same layouts with rectangles and text. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite fonts that I'm gonna use on here, and I'm gonna show you how you can use this same style for different things. So I'm gonna do it in different ways at the end, so you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end to see how I kinda of change it up, and you can use it for different things. It's very versatile. Uh, you can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can change other things that go on it. So let me show you how to do it. Let's get it to Canva right now. So here I am on Canva. You can see canva.com, and you can see I started one already, but let's start a new one by going here, create a design, and we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna do custom size, and we're gonna do 4,500 by 5,400. If you don't have this down here, you can always type it in, 4,500, 5,400, and pixels, right? So just click on that, and look, we have a brand new board here. I'm gonna switch over to the one that I did, uh, and we'll have it so you can see page one and page two. All right, so now that we have here a blank slate, what you wanna do is, what I would do is find a distressed rectangle. Now, if you have Canva free, you can use this lines and shapes here and just have a rectangle here. But you can see this rectangle doesn't have like the distressed textures on it. So you're gonna come in here and type in distressed rectangle. Just like that and hit graphics. And you can see a lot of these are pro versions. You may find one that's not. So this one's free, but I don't think it has the distress texture in it. Yeah, it's just plain. But these do, so you can see right there, kind of a rough texture in there. We're looking for that. So I didn't check all the free rectangles. In fact, I could do this and see if they are free. So let's just do free, apply filters, and oh and we need static too so none of the movie parts one this one no that doesn't have it um you may have to play around and, and look for it but for canva pro what you're going to do you can see it's not straight like this rectangle here we're going to crop it so pick it crop like this and then we're going to move it down until it is a rectangle inside of it and you just want it, you can eyeball it, it's just like that. Good, so this is nice uh, rectangle and we can make it bigger, like that. And if you need to make it um, not as tall, of course, come back in here and crop it smaller so you can, you know, make it the height you want. All right, so let's get rid of this one. And then what I would do next is there's usually five or six of these. So click on this, hold option and shift, and then drag it down and you're making a copy like that, right? And then once you make that, I think you can hit command D for duplicate. Yeah, command D, command D, command D. So you have five here really quick like that. And now we're gonna wanna color them. So usually this is on a black background. So let's do, click on the background, click on here, click on black easy enough and then you're going to want to change these to whatever five colors you want so if you're not sure what colors to use you could do something like coolers or find a color palette or whatever it is or you could just use some rainbow colors so let's come in here click on here you can use some of these default colors uh, which are really nice so you know just pick one pick another one whatever they are here and we can just have fun with it so That would be fun or find a color palette that you want you can pick any any of the colors that you have on there this will be fine just for now so you may want to pick one that's a little lighter than the black just so uh you know you can see it 
So have fun, play around with the colors. Yeah, just any vintage colors will do. So next thing we wanna do is have some fun. So let's play with some of these. Let's type in T, click T on your keyboard. And there it is, really small. You can grab it here. You may not have this one by default. So this one is Zoomy Rough. I picked this one before, bold. I like that one. It's kind of neat. Uh, I'm gonna do another one here. I'm gonna hold Option and drag. And then we're gonna type in here. Let's do rough. So we want that like rough look. So here's a, some other ones. You can see Zoomy Rough Boat is free. So that's good. Um, if you want the this one right here, it's kind of an italic. That's not free. Let's see. This one is vertical texture, not bad. I think I like this one. J A Jaragiri stands rough. It's hard to say. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, intro is kind of a cool one. Uh, let's see. This one's kind of rough, but very condensed. Let's see the intro ones I like here but some of them may not be rough here. Lava Pro, one of my favorites. So you can see lots of different ways to do this. Rubik, no, that one's kind of weird. Don't do that one. This one's kind of cool. Uh, cooperative, scratched. Thicker Destroy, and just find a bunch of good ones. I'm gonna stick with this one, uh, the Zoom, Zoomy Rough. So let's do that. So we're just gonna hold down option again and drag it here. Option shift, drag, drag, drag. So there now you have whatever you wanna type in here, you can type uh, a sentence already. So I've already done some, let's show you what I did. Uh, so here's different colors that you can use. See this nice rainbow pattern? That's a right, nice one. And this is still zoomy rough. And you can see it's weird, um, you can make it bigger. I'm gonna do this one. Retired under new management, see why for details, right? So look for a long sentence. You can find these or make these up. Um, this one has one or two words in each one. So you're looking for at least a sentence with one, two, three, four, five words up to 10 words, right? Somewhere between five and 10 words, I think it will do well. Like management is gonna take up the whole space, but you can see this one has three words in it because they're really small. So. Um, have fun with that, have fun doing that, and then change the letters to match. So if you have a darker background, you can use a lighter font. If you have a lighter background, you need to use a darker font and kind of switch it up. And look, that looks really cool. They both look uh, distressed and rough, so it gives that illusion of like vintage. And so you don't have to put a distressed vintage overlay on these because they both have that. Uh, here's another one. So you're seeing, so you're, Oh, this is supposed to say, so what you're saying. So what, I did it wrong. So what you're saying is there may be a chance and I put a baseball here. So maybe this is for your like favorite baseball team. Um, you can put colors or whatever. Uh, it could be really fun. So, or, or it could be a different sport or it could be whatever it is, right? So this is another way to do it. Can incorporate sports with it, or you could do like a holiday. So maybe change the colors to something for St. Patrick's Day or something for Mardi Gras. In this case, I did Mardi Gras. You can put the beads here. We got the, the purple, the green and the gold, right? And then cray for cray, crayfish and whatever. So lots of different ways to do this. Real easy to do. You can see I did it in a matter of minutes and you can scale this, change the colors, change the words, make another design, change the colors, change the word, add a, add a graphic, make another design. You can also do it center align, you can do it right align. I'm doing left align here, so everything's aligned like this, which I think reads a lot better, but you can change it up and do whatever. So have fun with this, real easy to do, um, especially if you find these uh, distressed stuff. I think it, it looks really good. It looks vintage and depending on the colors, it can match uh, what you're doing for the topic or niche. And it can look like a, you'd use the tag 
um, 70s vintage retro all that kind of stuff because it has that already built in so have fun with this uh, scale this do this for lots of different things it's it's real easy to do and it sells we've seen uh, sales with some of these stuff so now that we got their shirt I made some changes on here to the color I wanted to show you how easy it is to take it from Canva to a print-on-demand site like Amazon or Redbubble so um, we have our thing here I have multiple pages so you're gonna want to go here and hit share and download and we're gonna do a transparent background make sure to click on that if you have Pro you have that if you don't have Pro then you're gonna have to download it without the transparent background and delete the background with something like photo P so I, I have videos over there um, check check my list for videos on how to use photo P but the nice thing about Canva Pro is it comes off automatically the background so do that and then make sure to pick the one that you want you could download all of them but because the one I'm on here the current page I'm just gonna hit that current page you can see it is still this one so I'm gonna hit done and hit download and it's gonna to download to my computer as a PNG the right size 4500 by 5400 I'm gonna bring that into uh, Amazon and I'll show you what it looks like and you can do the same thing with bringing it in into Redbubble but I'm only going to do Amazon in this tutorial. So here I am on the create page of Amazon Merch on Demand. Now you could do this again like with Redbubble but I'm going to just drag in um, the PNG that I downloaded. You will see off the screen here, right here, boom. It's going to take a little while to load and then you're going to see that the transparent background or the background is knocked out so it's transparent and it's going to just have the blocks there and we're going to pull this up and we can try it out on different colors. So on black, we try. We know it looks good on black, but let's see what it looks like on the other colors. That one's okay, uh, maybe. And so you're gonna have to pick 10 colors. So let's, I like gray, uh, green, green's kind of cool. Want white, yeah, white's pretty cool. Navy, olive green. Um, I almost never pick purple unless it's Mardi Gras. Let's see. Okay, so you can see I've gone over 10 colors, so now I'm going to have to kind of cut some off. Maybe not brown. Oh, what, what do I cut here? Kelly green. Maybe olive. I don't know. You can pick whatever one you think works. And then you do the same thing for this one and this one and this one and then, you know, all the way. And then you're going to have to write your uh, titles and things, but this is how it looks like on a shirt. I don't think it's too bad. Um, you can see it's that tall rectangle and you can size it down so the new, nice thing about Amazon now and all the other print on demand sites really is you can size it if you don't like it that big um, you can do that that's why I would suggest make it as big as possible because you can always size down you cannot size past the hundred percent so you can't size up so make it as big as possible fill that tall rectangle and then if it feels like it's too big size it down so so there you go pretty simple and easy design to make. So there you go, a very simple design just using Canva and some rectangles and some fonts. Super simple. If you want another super simple design on Canva, make sure to click on this one right here. This is where I go and do the four square design with llamas. You can use it with anything. You can use it with cats or dogs or whatever. Hopefully these designs help you get more sales this year. Thanks again for watching and as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.